it brings me no pleasure to report to you that we are now just one step away from Secretary of the Interior Mike Pillow. This is not a joke. This is not a drill. Donald Trump has nominated a random Fox News guy to be the Secretary of Defense of the United States. Pete Hegseth is going to be Trump's Secretary of Defense if he can get confirmed. He is one of the co hosts on Weekend Fox and Friends. Trump publishing a screed that says, I am honored to announce that I have nominated Pete Hegseth to serve in my cabinet as the Secretary of Defense. Pete has spent his entire life as a warrior for the troops and for the country. Pete is tough, smart, and a true believer in America first. With Pete at the helm, America's enemies are on notice. Our military will be great again, and America will never back down. Pete is a graduate of Princeton and a graduate degree from Harvard University and uh, University and a combat veteran, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, here is Pete Hegseth saying he doesn't wash his hands. As I told you, my 2019 resolution is to say things on air that I say off air. I don't think I've washed my hands for 10 years. <laughs> really, I don't I, I don't really wash my Someone hands. Help ever. me. No, oh, that, no. I, I inoculate myself. It's just not germs oh, are not yeah, a real true. thing. I can't see them. Therefore, they're not real. So you're becoming immune to all of the all yeah. the bacteria. Exactly. You know, Trump's quite the germaphobe, so I don't know that this is exactly a match made in heaven, but this is obviously much more serious than just joking around. Because as wild as it is to see Donald Trump picking a suck up Fox News host to be secretary of defense, it's also wacky when you look at his past and the number of hypocrisies. Because remember, they do not care about principles. Aside from the fact that Hegseth is a prior never Trumper, Trump supposedly against war, against the Iraq war, he's the anti war candidate. Hegseth is historically a huge defender of George W. Bush a huge defender of torture techniques used during that era, a huge defender of invading Iraq. But think about this. Trump wrote in his glowing announcement about Pete Hegseth that part of his amazing qualifications are that Pete went to Princeton and then he got a graduate degree at Harvard. But we have been told by the very same MAGA people for years that Ivy League schools are nothing but worthless left wing indoctrination. Why is it that Pete is a good pick because he went to Princeton and Harvard, even though Princeton and Harvard are terrible and woke and horrible now? The answer is whatever is convenient to them today. That is all that matters. What does MAGA benefit from today? Um, the bottom line is that in general, with Trump's forthcoming cabinet, only sycophantic admirers need apply. Trump wants suck ups. Trump wants people who see him as the greatest thing since sliced bread, period. And think back to when Lloyd Austin was nominated by Joe Biden to be secretary of defense, a uh, black four star general, former CENTCOM commander, completely qualified, but he's black. So it was a DEI hire. It was simply Joe Biden trying to get various colors and genders working for him. But Trump nominates a completely unqualified 44 year old Fox News co-host. And we're supposed to believe that it's about merit. We're supposed to believe that it's about ability to do the job. This is only about loyalty. This is how the mob bosses and the dictators do human resources and hiring. And if right wing hypocrisy were a physical object, you could forget about building a house. You could build a city out of right wing hypocrisy if it was a physical object. Now, here is a bonus clip from Pete Hegseth saying that we should simply not have any women in combat roles. I'm straight up just saying we should not have women in combat roles. Right. It uh, hasn't made us more effective, hasn't made us more lethal, has made fighting more complicated. We've all served with women and they're great. Mm -hmm. um, it just our institutions don't have to incentivize that in places where traditionally, not traditionally, over human history, uh, men in those positions are, are more capable. 
There you go. So that is what is forthcoming as secretary of defense. If Pete Hegseth, Hegseth can get himself confirmed, let's now really talk about the war aspect of this selection. Those who follow me on social media may be familiar with my dad's dog, Nemo Pacman. Like me, Nemo Pacman has no middle name. Uh, and that's why I love our sponsor, Ollie. It's clean, fresh nutrition for your dog in five flavors your dog will love. You don't need to be a veterinary nutritionist to know that feeding your dog real whole foods with minimal processing is one of the best choices for their health. No harmful fillers, preservatives. Ollie is made in the US in American kitchens using ingredients sourced from trusted growers and producers around the world. You fill out Ollie's 30 second quiz. They'll do a customized meal plan based on your dog's weight, activity level and other health considerations. For first time customers, Ollie sends your dog's first box with two weeks of meals and a guide for switching them gradually to the new food. Ollie offers three plans to choose from. There's the fresh plan, the fresh topper plan or the mixed plan. Right now, you'll get 60 percent off your first box when you go to Ollie.com and enter the code Pacman. They even offer a clean bowl guarantee. If you're not completely satisfied with the first box, you get your money back. The link is in the description.